sucks to see your favorite players retire when you know they still got game. It hurts me to see guys that I love to see play retire from the NBA. Our next guest has conquered the music business, graced the big screen in leading roles across numerous genres. Now he's setting himself up to become a professional sports mogul as week six of Big Three League rolls through Toronto tonight at the Scotiabank Arena. Please welcome the one and only Ice Cube. Woo. Hey, how you doing? Thank you for coming in this morning. Thanks for having me. We've got that is the largest <laughs> the big, round of applause yeah. I've heard for any guest that it's has come cool. on our, our show Our applause before. meter was off the charts there. <laughs> uh, big three, this is huge. We're looking forward to tonight. Yes. His laugh is the best. Uh, big three tonight, and love the shirt, love the hat. This Thank is you. there's so much anticipation yes. for this here in Toronto. First time it's come to Toronto. Yes. What can fans here expect? Great basketball. You know, uh, three on three is something we all grew up playing. Um, any of us that play basketball probably play more three on three than five on five. Mm. And we've never seen it elevated to this level. You know, we've elevated it to the pro level. And we have some former NBA players and guys are up tank ready to go. The moon who was a who was a Raptor for a while. So we got some great players, you know, mm -hmm. uh, and it's, it's, it's our, our coaches are Hall of Fame guys, you know, Dr. J, Iceman, George Gervin, Gary Payton, Rick Barry. You know, it's, it's, it's just a rolling festival of basketball history. Mm -hmm. Now, with the half court, is there anybody who's kind of you didn't think would come up, rise up and all of a sudden they're playing a lot better than you expected? Yeah. And, you know, it's uh, some guys that, you know, didn't really make a big mark in the NBA, but but are making a big mark in the big three. A uh, guy like uh, David Hawkins, who uh, was, you know, a guy who really didn't, you know, get a chance to do his thing in the NBA, but but here he's, he's, he's kind of like almost the MVP of the league. So it's just great to see these unknown guys, like, you know, make fans and make a mark for themselves. Since you're here, we got to ask you about some of the big moves that have made their way over the Raptors or left. DeMar DeRozan, of yeah. course, leaving, and we've got Kawhi Leonard coming in. Your thoughts and what it means for the future for the Raps? Oh, man, you know, I think, I think Kawhi is going to like being here in Toronto. Every player, you know, uh, seems to want to stay. You know, it's a great city. So I think, you know, he's a, he's a finals MVP champ. So I think he can take the team to the next level. I know DeMar really loved Toronto. Yep. I know Toronto really loved him. Um, but sometimes, you know, when you've tried it a few years, you got to make a change to get over the hump. And, um, you know, the organiz organization did what I think they felt like they had to do. So good That's your businessman yeah. side coming out there. It yeah. is, you know. I mean, I don't like them making promises to him at the beginning yeah. of the summer. But, but, you know, that's not cool. You know, don't make promises that yeah. you can't keep. But, uh, you know, it's a business, and we all know that. Mm -hmm. Music and, and sports, specifically basketball, go hand in hand. We've yes. seen what Drake has done for the Raps. We've seen what yes. you've done. Why is that relationship so important and continues to be so big? Oh, I think because, I mean, for one, it's a, it's a mutual admiration. You know, uh, athletes admire musicians. Musicians admire athletes. And, you know, especially with basketball, the, the, the nature of the sport is so much poetry and motion. And then you have the music, and it just goes together like peanut butter and jelly. You know, it's just, yeah. it's just perfect. <laughs> and so, yeah, so um, it just mesh. And, uh, you know, music, I mean, sports... Without music, it's just a game. So it's pretty cool that, that music can frame the narrative and, uh, and that, that sports is starting to get involved with, with entertainment. You know, uh, like you said, the Raptors with Drake um, and, you know, me dibbling and dabbling in, in basketball. So it's a great thing. Are you good? Do you want to I was going to ask, do you want to do you look at ownership next in the NBA? Would you like to see that? No, no, I don't want no <laughs> part of that. that. No, no I'm, I'm happy owning the big three. That's fine. All right, perfect. All right. So we're going to put up all the information uh, for the event. So if you want tickets uh, at Scotiabank Arena, go to big3.com slash tickets. And for everything Ice Cube, of course, icecube.com. And you heard from JYD earlier saying, first thousand to Jurassic Park yep, wearing tonight. some JYD gear. He's giving out tickets. Wow. He bought all these tickets. That's so it's very if they're wearing cool. some ice cube gear, I'm sure. Wear some, some ice cube stuff too. too. You might get well. some extra stuff. Come on down anyway, man. You know, come on. You <laughs> might get in. You never know. There Thank you, you very much for coming out and talking Thank to us you. this morning. Thank you. Cheers. Taking a break here on BT and we'll be right back after this.